The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all. Jammu and Kashmir. A historic election and the result seems to be heading in favour of the National Conference and the Congress Alliance. What's turned the result in their favour and what about Omar Abdullah? Let us discuss this and more with senior journalist Puneet Nicholas Yadav, my colleague here at the Federal. Hi, Puneet. Hi, hi. It looks like a sweep for the NC Congress Alliance. Uh, so many issues leading up to the polling. What do you think has like gone right for them? What's gone right for them? Uh, well, Ashwin, I think uh, with regard to this is largely a national conference victory. I wouldn't say uh, so much for the Congress because uh, as the trends hold as of now, uh, as per these trends, there are, I think, about uh, the last I checked, uh, the National Conference and the Congress were leading on 52 seats out of 90. Out of those 52, the Congress's share is just about 10 seats. So there are 42 seats on which the National Conference is leading. Now, this is very significant uh, because after 1999, the uh, 1996, the 1996 elections of JNK, this is for the first time that not just the national conference, but any party from the Kashmir Valley, any regional party from the Kashmir Valley has been able to cross, uh, you know, 30 seats or 28 seats, uh, you know, in the overall scenario. So the national conference at 42 is a sweep. Also, you know, the National Conference, because uh, they had a pre-poll alliance with the Congress, the National Conference was contesting on 41, uh, on 51 seats. And on another five seats, they had uh, agreed with the co Congress to have a friendly contest. So 57 seats in total, uh, 56 seats in total. Out of 56, if the National Conference is winning 42, that's a huge victory for the National Conference. Uh, I would not, uh, however, say that this is primarily a vote for National Conference. You know, out of these 50, uh, 42 seats on which the National Conference is, uh, is leading currently, barring seven seats which are from the Jammu region, all the others are from the Kashmir Valley. And in the Kashmir Valley, the sentiment on the ground was very, very clear that they do not want the BJP to come to power in any uh, formation, you know, on its own or with allies or with, uh, you know, friendly parties or with the support of independents. And so you see, uh, there was also a kind of a baggage of resentment against the PDP for its alliance with the BJP in 2014, which eventually led to president's rule and then the abrogation of article 370 it's not as if the national conference has not had an alliance with the bjp in the past uh, omar mm -hmm. abdullah in fact uh, after his electoral debut was a minister in the uh, government of uh, the late atal bihari vajpayee uh, mm -hmm. so uh, you know people on the ground in kashmir would talk about how they do not entirely trust the national conference on where it would go but they also felt that look the pdp's sin so to speak was more recent compared to the national conferences plus a lot of the people i i uh, because i spent some time in jnk during the elections a lot of them also said that look they have an alliance with the congress the congress will never allow the national conference to go and side with the bjp and so the best bet to keep the BJP out of power is, the, is to vote for the National Conference. And so you see the National Conference's victory in the Kashmir Valley, are, uh, it's kind of spread across the valley. They, they've won uh, seats in North Kashmir, where many people thought engineer Rashid's party would play, a, you know, would have, would be the X factor, would play for, uh, uh, you know, uh, clear the pitch for the national conference. Uh, eventually, they might ally with the BJP and help the BJP. Uh, there were all kinds of speculations. And so people were extremely wary of the uh, AIP, uh, Engineer Rashid's party. So national conference has gained in North Kashmir. Similarly, 
in uh, the uh, central Kashmir region, which anyway was a national conference stronghold. They have swept the elections. And in South Kashmir, which 99 onwards had become a PDP stronghold, the national conference has revived itself. So all in all, this is basically a national conference victory, I wouldn't say, or uh, a, a very clear mandate from the valley that they do not want to take any chance of the possibility of a BJP government forming in the state, in the un union territory now. Yeah. Right. And uh, let's talk about Omar Abdullah. Uh, he, he faced a defeat in the Lok Sabha polls. A sweet revenge for Omar? Uh, certainly. You know, uh, for him, his Lok Sabha defeat from Baramulla against Engineer Rashid was, it was a huge defeat. See, Omar is a very interesting political character in that sense. Because, of course, while he has the legacy of uh, Sheikh Abdullah and Farooq Abdullah, uh, you know, his own track record as a politician in electoral politics has been very patchy. In 2002, he had contested from, you know, after being a member of parliament, he had moved to state politics in 2002. He had, uh, in fact, been made national conference president that year. And he contested from Gandharbal, which was a family stronghold of the Abdullahs. Sheikh Abdullah had represented that seat. Farooq Abdullah had won from it three times. And then, you know, this was his first, Omar's first election from Gandharbal in 2002, and he lost the election, you know, and he lost the election to a very relatively unknown uh, PDP guy. Subsequently, of course, he managed to win in 2008, went on to become chief minister of the state. Uh, and then in 2014, he did not go back to Gandharbal, but he contested from two constituencies, Erosunavar and uh, Birwa. And again, he lost the Sonavar seat by over 9,000 votes, uh, again to a relatively unknown PDP candidate. And then he lost, uh, you know, the 2024 Lok Sabha elections from Baramulla to Engineer Rashid, who again was not really a political heavyweight. And he lost that seat by over 2 lakh uh, votes, which is a huge defeat out of the 18 assembly segments that fall under Baramulla. Omar Abdul, uh, you know, uh, Omar lost badly in 15 assembly segments. So uh, it was a huge defeat for him uh, in that sense. And uh, so now, you know, he contested again this election. He contested from two seats. He contested from Gandharbal, the traditional family seat of the Abdullahs, and he contested from Badgam. Uh, and many thought that Gandharbal may again prove to be, you know, an election like 2002. Uh, in fact, even I was of the, uh, I have, you know, no qualms in saying, I was also of the opinion that Omar will have it very difficult in Gandharbal. Uh, he was up against the PDP's Bashir Mir, uh, who uh, has a very strong clout in that constituency, is fairly popular, particularly among the young voters. Uh, and so, Gandharbal was not going to be an easy contest, which is why he perhaps chose to contest also from Badgam. Uh, now, uh, of course, he claimed that he was moving to Badgam because when he filed his nomination from Gandharbal, uh, another jailed leader decided to file, you know, uh, Sajjad Barkati decided to file his nomination. And he, sa he said, this is a conspiracy against me by the BJP. So I want to contest from another seat to expose this conspiracy. Uh, you know, because if from that seat, again, some jailed guy contested against him, uh, it would have made it clear. And in fact, many people thought that because he had previously won from the Birwa assembly segment, he might contest from Birwa again. Uh, until the last minute, a lot of people thought that he's going to contest from Birwa. And you saw Sarjan Barkati filing his nomination from Birwa too. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, so, uh, so he... Uh, you know, Omar said that, see, this conspiracy has now been exposed and I'm not going to contest from ba uh, Birwa, I'm going to contest from Badga. Uh, and now he's managed to win, uh, he's leading with, uh, a leading in both the seats, both in Badgam and in Gandharbal. Uh, although in the Gandharbal, his lead is not very substantial. I, uh, the last I checked, he was leading by just about 5,000 votes. Uh, Badgam, he's got a, a slightly more uh, comfortable lead. But Badgam, again, people generally felt that his victory from Badgam would not be his own, but the victory of Aga Sayyid Ruhullah Mehdi, 
who is the sitting MP from uh, Sirinagar uh, for the National Conference. Now, Ruhullah, Badgam is Ruhullah's backyard. And in fact, uh, Omar was up against Ruhullah's cousin, who is contesting as the PDP candidate and is a popular Shia face. So, uh, you know, many thought that, you know, Ruhullah is going to help Omar win the Badgam seat and uh, Ganderbal could go either way. But if he manages to win from both seats, of course, one, it's sweet revenge. Uh, you know, it reestablishes him as, uh, as the face of the national conference. His father, Dr. Farooq Abdullah, is now 85. Uh, you know, he didn't contest this election. Uh, although initially the party did say that, you know, Farooq Abdullah would be the chief minister uh, once the government is formed. Uh, and then uh, Omar initially had said he's not going to contest and then he contested from two seats. So all of that. But for Omar, this is definitely good news. He's not only winning both his seats, but he's also winning uh, an election at a time when the national conference is sweeping the Kashmir Valley and is set to form the government in JNK. So, uh, so it's definitely good news for him. Right. And so then uh, what next for uh, what next for Omar? Like, is, will he be the chief minister? Um, uh, well, if the current trends hold and, uh, you know, because although it's not a substantial majority, an absolute majority, it's a simple majority, the, the simple majority mark, uh, including the nominated members for JNK assembly would be a 48. The alliance as of now is leading on uh, 52. Uh, barring, uh, you know, aside from those 52, the PDP, which is currently leading on two seats, has said that they are going to support the government. Oh, uh, Farooq Abdullah yesterday had said that even if they do not need additional numbers, they will still take support of the PDP. Uh, there are also a couple of independents who are leading at the moment who are essentially national conference leaders. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it looks like Omar is set to be, uh, you know, in, you know, he's the front runner to be the CM. Uh, unless, of course, the party pulls a surprise and goes back to Dr. Farooq Abdullah and relies on his experience to, uh, you know, lead, because it's not going to be an easy government uh, to run uh, since the state has been downgraded to a union territory. A lot of the powers of the state government have been taken away. Uh, the lieutenant governor is going to call the shots on a lot of things. Uh, so it is going to be a very difficult, uh, uh, you know, uh, thing to deal with in terms of governance and administration and uh, the party if at all uh, decides to uh, that you know dr farooq abdullah has more experience in dealing with that kind of stuff uh, they might go to him but otherwise certainly omar uh, because then farooq abdullah will have to contest an election again uh, you know since mm -hmm. he did not contest the assembly polls so omar certainly looks like the front runner and uh, uh, but whether he runs a very stable government uh, I do not want to, you know, make a comment on that at the moment because one, uh, their alliance is not a very stable alliance. Uh, Omar, even during the campaign, had expressed his disapproval at the Congress not campaigning enough uh, and properly in Jammu, which has kind of proved to be right because uh, the Congress, uh, despite everything in its favor, the narrative, the, the issues on the ground, everything in its favor has been routed in its direct contest with the BJP in the Jammu region. So uh, that's something that Omar will constantly remind the Congress that, look, uh, you know, I'm not in power because of you. Uh, and, you know, mind you, the, if the halfway mark is 48, the National Conference is already re leading on 42. So um, plus a couple of its independents are, uh, are leading. So, uh, you know, even minus the Congress, it would still be within striking distance of the majority mark. And that's something that it, uh, the, that Omar Abdullah will constantly keep reminding the, the Congress party. So uh, it is going to be slightly difficult for him to maneuver the, uh, you know, the, uh, the alliance in that sense, but uh, definitely a very good day for him. The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all.